All right, we've got this trench dug out all the way to the spout. And we're gonna go ahead and tunnel the sidewalk. Today it looks like I can probably use this, the tunneling shovel here. I did bring the pressure washer, but it's kind of messy and I don't use it if I don't have to. It works really well. Uh, but this one looks like it has enough rock underneath the sidewalk that I can use the tunneling shovel and get that all out of there. Inside this tunnel, if you look carefully, you'll see that I've scraped the top of the tunnel or the bottom of the concrete. Get the top, twist it, twist, twist, twist. And then you scrape the sides and twist. And then just pull out what's dropped into the bottom of the tunnel with your tunneling shovel. I'm going to express this again. Scrape the top, then scrape the sides and twist. There's a couple of positions you can use. One is kneeling, uh, the other is to straddle the trench. If you want to see the pressure washer in action, just watch this video. It's up there in your top left corner at the end of the video. It's really good on pointers and methods of using the pressure washer to tunnel a sidewalk. That should be a nice four inch tunnel. Let's take a look. Right, I'm just going to take a quick peek. Oh yeah. That is a nice tunnel. Mostly gravel. And when it is, use a tunneling shovel. If it's a lot of clay, or if it's mostly clay, then you might want to use a pressure washer. But the tunneling shovel, manually, gets it done in about five to 10 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and continue with the installation. We're installing four inch pipe. And if you've made a nice tunnel, the pipe will go right through there. It's okay to give it some light kicks from the bell end if you have to. But if it's not going through, you need to do a little more tunneling. Oh, this looks real good. Nice tunnel. Nice hookup up here at the downspout and the pipe that's coming in from the short roof. Subscribe for more how-to videos and thank you for watching.